get me drink money by tapping the occasional passerby for their loose change. You any odds, mucker? Do you spare the price of a cup of tea, ma'am? The oil booze keeps the cold away. Well, at least it makes you not feel it. Mayor is an international woman. There's a mayor in every, every city in the world, every corner. At the start, she's young and she's fresh and she's bubbling with life and doing all the things that teenagers do. Um, then her daddy is alcoholic, but that doesn't interfere with Mayra's life at the start. Um, and she, Mayra can tell you a story about, because she's so drunk at, towards the end of the play, Mayra loses all her inhibitions. And she tells you stories that, you know, would normally make your flesh creep. You know, you'd say, oh God, coming from a woman, I don't want to hear that. But it's the truth. There are women out there who, who, who are like Mayra, or, and maybe because they've got money, they can hide it better. But Mayra had nothing. She'd lost everything by the time the end of the play comes. Mayra has nobody. She just has her memories, and she'll share those memories with you. But throughout the play, no matter how hard life treats Myra, she never cries. She never sheds a tear throughout the whole play. And, you know, I don't think Myra even cracks a, a smile. You know, she just, she, she grabs you by the throat and she just shakes you and makes you listen to her story. The Myra that I deal with, uh, she, she's an amalgam of people that I grew up with, of several people that are characters that I placed together, pieced together to form this, this single entity. And um, a lot of the, the instances from her life, the humorous and the sad and all, all the rest of it, it's all the same. They, they were all, they're all real, you know, they, they were all based on things that actually happened to people that I would know. And uh, so you bring all this together and, and you form this central character. I said, so do you think your Jimmy might actually have a wee talent for writing then, Brady? She let up a button replied. Well, let me put it this way, Myra. My tadpole would be somewhere between Shakespeare and the Beano. <laughs>